Hi, so I wanted to show you guys another example of doing a linear regression. So what we have here is we have the amount of cell phones per 100 people, and aligned with that we have the computers per 100 people in the United States from the years 1990 forward. All right, so what we want to do is we want to see is there any relationship between cell phones and computers. So we're going to go to stat, regression, and simple linear. So for our x variable, I'm going to choose var1, which is cell phones. For my y variable, I'm going to choose computers, which is var2. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit compute. And what happens is that StatCrunch pulls up all the information I need. So it gives me my intercept, which is negative 26.15. It also gives me my slope, which is 1.2. Above, it also gives me the equation right here. So var2 equals negative 26.15 plus 1.2 times var1. As well, it gives me the correlation coefficient, which is 0.99, and r squared, which is 0.988. Now, if we take a look at the regression line, we can see that this fits really, really nice. So, that is how we calculate it using StatCrunch, but let's look at how we actually interpret it using the equation. All right, so I've copied the equation and I've rounded it a little bit from our StatCrunch output. So I copied this down and what I did is that I changed var2 to computers and var1 to cell phones. Now, let's go ahead and answer these questions. So the first one is interpret the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is going to be the value that we see that's not connected to x. So in our situation, the y-intercept is going to be negative 26.16. So remember, what is the y-intercept? So the y-intercept is the y-value and our x-value equals 0. What we want to do is that we want to add context to that. So in the context of our problem, what that means is when cell phones equal zero, we have that computers per 100 people is negative 26.16. Now, in the context of this problem, that doesn't make sense. Okay. The reason that that doesn't make sense is because people can't have a negative amount of computers. So why doesn't this make sense? Well, the reason this doesn't make sense is because if we go back to our data, right here, notice that cell phones, okay, go between about 20 to 80. And here in the problem, we had cell phones equal zero. What that means is that we went outside of our range and we extrapolated. So our cell phone values only go between 20 to 80, roughly. Their phone, therefore, when cell phones equal zero, we have extrapolated. That means gone outside of our data. Extrapolated, gone outside of our data. The next thing we want to do is interpret the slope. So when we interpret the slope, what value that's going to be is that's going to be the value that is being multiplied by x. So in our case, our slope here is 1.2. Now when we think about the y or the slope, the slope is the change in y over the change in x. So in our case, over change in x is going to equal 1.2. Now, that doesn't really tell us a whole lot, so let's rewrite this just one more time. So, instead of writing change in y, we're going to say change, and well, what's our y value again? Computers over change in cell phones. I'm going to rewrite 1.2 as 1.2 divided by 1. Now, if you actually line these variables up across the equation sign, this is what it tells you. The computers increase by 1.2 for 
for every one increase in cell phones. What that means is if we look back at the graph, that means that every time somebody increases a cell phone by one, the amount of computers is going to increase by 1.2. Now we want to use the graph to estimate the number of cell phones per 100 people when the number of computers per 100 is 60. So remember, computers is going to be our y variable. So when we're looking at this, we want to look at our y variable of 60. And then we want to look at, okay, where does that hit our line? So let's see, when our y variable is 60, it looks like that is going to hit the x-axis, it looks like it's about 72. So you follow from the y-axis from 60 until you hit the line. Then you go straight down and see what x value that relates to. So I'm going to say it's about 72. So by the graph, it appears to be around 72. Now we can confirm that by checking using the equation. So to do it with the equation, remember, computers are going to equal 60. That means per the equation, our y value will equal 60. So we are going to take this equation here, and we're going to plug in 60 for our y value. So we're going to have 60 equals negative 26.16 plus 1.2 then we're going to solve for x. So once we solve for x, we're going to get that our x value 71.8, which if we round is 72, which means that it lines up with the line that we had. So wonderful job, guys.